Facebook. What's up everyone? It's your channel friends tuning in from Kingston, Jamaica. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Um, if you're new, then I'm a Christian girl who makes Christian YouTube videos, offer advice, empowerment. If you'd like to see more of my videos, click that subscribe button. Also, click that little notification bell that is right beside the subscribe button if you want to be notified whenever I post a new video. Also, if you like this video when you finish watching it, you can give it a thumbs up and you can comment down below just to let me know what you think. If you're not new, yes. Yes, girl, I got rid of the braids. I just need some time to just treat my hair and to just transfer it from being perm to natural African. So if you're interested in seeing that entire process, you can let me. I've been thinking, I have CAPE exams coming up and a lot of persons also in Jamaica have CSEC exams. And I've also been getting a lot of requests on my last video about CXC exams that if you guys want tips and all of that so I decided to do a, a new modern-ish type of video to help just offer a few tips to you guys that I hope can help you in terms of your preparation for your exams in May or late or late of this month going down to like June Okay, so the first tip has to do with what you put inside of your body. When I was researching about this, I was actually really shocked to find out some of these stuff. That if you're if you live in the Caribbean or Jamaica per se, and you eat like um patty and cocoa bread, like I had no idea that this has like the ingredients inside of it actually boosts the, the the increase of you getting like ligorizing. I always feel so droopy whenever you finish eating stuff like that. So I had no idea that was like legit. But now I know and I'm helping you guys. So please stay away from the patty and cocoa bread if you're planning to like study after you finish eating it. So you actually want to ensure that you're monitoring your diet real carefully. You want to ensure that you're stocking up on your vitamin C's. Um, you want to ensure that you're also eating a lot of fruits every morning while you're going to school, which is really easy out here because school, you can pass like somebody selling fruits on the side of the road and you know, you can buy, you can purchase and you can have a lot of, you know, fruity fruit to eat. And stuff and then you'll just find that throughout the day you're a lot more attentive um you you tell you will feel a little bit, little bit more energized um because of all the nutrition that you put in tip number two has to deal with the distractions guys you have to sacrifice in order to satisfy so your phones your laptops stuff that normally are easily that can easily distract you you might want to like put those aside um generally what I do because my study life is that I can't study like three months before the exam. I have to study either two months before or a month before the exam. And usually I take that month to just really lock away, um, to come off social media, put the phones aside. So you want to be able to push away all those distractions so that at the end of the day, you're focused and the work you put in will actually show in the exam room. Which leads me to the third one which is gaining in that knowledge if you're weak in a certain area of like say management of business for like cape then you can go to the library go to the reference section borrow a textbook that they may not offer on your book list or you may not have at home and you can get extra information to back up whatever it is that you're already being taught in school and for me that really worked and allowed me to gain the grades that I really wanted to gain last year and is what I plan on doing this year because the library is free people you have to find that drive where you can go and gain in-depth knowledge so the fourth tip that I've reached is that you have to know your weaknesses so while you're at the library while you're going to the library find areas of your weaknesses and you can even ask a friend to tally along who might be strength more stronger in that area where you're weak and can help to assist you in like you know getting better in that area and um, that's a really good idea because it's like you're both teaching each other and your friend is being strengthened and, in, and you're also being strengthened. You know, my final advice is the best one of all, I believe. And that is to put God first 
you I, I mentioned the work because you have to study you can't be like oh lord please i beg you to bring my everything to my memory and you didn't even study anything like what is god gonna bring back to memory blank spaces huh <laughs> so you have to put in the work and god will help to remind you during the exam you really want to put god first when it comes down to your exam because sometimes you can become very discouraged to study you can become discouraged like in your confidence thinking that you can actually pass and it's really his word that helps to carry and remind you that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you so I hope that these tips were helpful and I pray to God that you will pass your exams this year whether you're doing CAP or CSEC or any other exam soon I pray God's blessing over you. This is Channel Spence tuning in, tuning out <laughs> from Kingston, Jamaica. Please subscribe if you're not already. Remember to turn on the notifications to know whenever I post again. Um, if you're interested in following me on my social media, I mainly use Instagram, so it'll be right here, and you can just look for me, follow me, and I'll try my best to follow you you back. I guess. Remember to leave a comment down below telling me what you think. So. This is me, tuning out, and bye.